Hello, welcome to next LED station. This time I have a beer from Shepherd's Nim and it's New Dawn 5% ABV Citrus IPA, Citrus Americ American Hops, and British Ale. <coughs> nice. Half a liter bottle. Alright. Definitely different shape than usual uh, Shepard's Nim bottles, definitely. It's tall and slim, not uh, short and bulky. Nice, Dif different bottles. Uh, a light, easy drinking ale with low bitterness with hints of orange and a refreshing citrus hit courtesy of Citra hops. Okay. 5% ingredients water, malted barley oats, glucose syrups, syrup, hops, and natural orange flavoring. Well, <coughs> we know everything now. It is a cheap beer with artificial flavorings. Let's see if it's um, digestible. Uh, okay, cup golden with the brewer's logo. Let's open it. Why it's pink? Why it's pink? With this strange citrusy um, bits, kind of... Uh, I don't know what. Uh, okay. Leave it alone. Let's go to the beer. orange or mandarin I would say even a uh, mandarin more it's gentle and um, very gentle and there's not so much more in it and just the mandarin okay let's pull it out how it looks it looks very pale with nice head, um, small bubbles, it looks alright, uh, it's well, the color of them, uh, it's slightly a cree, I would say. Nice, thick foam, beer is, uh, you know. Very pale straw color and clear. And mandarin. Uh, I would say even like you have a bubble gum uh, with mandarin uh, flavoring. I know it, you, usually you have an orange, right? But uh, it is a mandarin. In, I know. If you have. Um, Lemonade or orange in uh, instant orange, in, you know, in a powder or crystals. It smells exactly the same. Yeah, slightly bubbling and uh, yeah, mandarin, maybe slightly orangey flavoring. Right, so that's it. Let's have a try. Medium body, um, some maltiness. It's slightly sweet. Refreshing citrusy notes. But they are smothered with this flavoring. Mandarin flavoring, nothing else, right? So they trying to uh, trying to get out of this, you know, blanket of 
flavorings uh, but they're smothered really <laughs> It is in every aspect of this beer, just flowering. Um, you have a little bit of this glucose syrup taste. I know that that is just a you know part of the mash composition, but it is this beer. It it is syrupy. Really, it is. Mm. Syrupy and artificial. Carbonation, actually, it's medium. Um, I would say bitterness, well, bitterness doesn't exist really you have uh, like hints of grapefruity zest something like this um, but it's just a minimal and that's it so <clears throat> overall it's quite drinkable slightly sweet but well, I would say syrupy but slightly sweet and driven by mandarin flavorings uh, so five percent but it's quite sessionable it's easy drinking um, but really they could do it much better. The mandarin is really, really nice, but artificial. I know that they had very similar beer, cask. I think it was three point five percent or something. And they actually use the mandarin hops, mandarin Bavaria hops. So, <coughs> yeah. But maybe it was too expensive. I don't know. So they try to achieve the same effect with the flavorings. Well, it's not so bad but really you can taste the syrup glucose syrup and <laughs> flavorings you know okay definitely you have to try it and make your own opinion of this beer that's what i like it's a different shape of the bottle I don't know if it will be good for them, you know, changing shape because they have a quite nice and distinctive beer bottle shape. So I don't know. Different image, maybe. Well, you know what? It it is a quite sessionable beer. Uh five percent but sessionable, right? <laughs> in the uh, in feeling uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this review as much I enjoyed this beer it, it's it's not so bad you know I just have uh, my own impression that uh, it's too much artificial so please like it please subscribe my channel and when you've done it already hit the notification button in the shape of the bell it will remind you about every new video on the channel so you'll be up to date and because of this you'll not miss any new other stations i hope cheers